Hey everyone, Carl Glover here, host of Project Mayhem, and I got another movie review for you. I've done the first two Sleepaway Camps movies, Sleepaway Camp 1, Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers. Now we're going to talk about Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wastelands. This event takes one year after the second film. Maria is heading to camp. Suddenly she is chased into an alleyway and run over by a garbage truck driven by Angela, who throws Maria's body into the, into the back of the compactor. Angela poses as Maria in order to aboard the bus to Camp New Horizon, which is the same location of Camp Rolling Hills. Wow. After arriving, news reporter Twani Richards asks Angela to get some cocaine. Angela gives her Ajax cleaner instead, which kills Twani when she snorts it. After the campers have settled in the camp, yeah, in camp counselors, Herman and Lily, Miranda, and Officer Barney, Make sure I didn't pronounce that wrong. Uh, yeah, Barney Whitmore lit the campers into three groups. Angela is placed in a group with Herman, Snowboy, and uh, Snowboy Peter, and James. While camping, Angela leaves Snowboy and Peter to fish, finds Herman and Jane having sex, bump, bump, and kills them both with a stick. All hail the mighty stick. They did something similar in the second movie. Just beat them with a stick. Surprise the stick didn't break. Rock, zoom in on that picture of the stick. How powerful and mighty OP the stick is. All hail the stick. Okay, enough dicking around. The next morning, okay, yeah, so I'm sorry, with the stick. That night, Angela sets off a firecracker in Peter's nose and burns Snowboy alive along with the other bodies. Ooh, cremation. The next morning, Angela travels to Lily's campsite where Bobby, Cindy, Riff, and Arba are camping. Angela switches places with Arba and dispatches her... Oh, I'm sorry, de decapitate her with an axe. Lily sets the campers out on a trust-building exercise where Angela, having grown tired of the girls whining, with big uh, tote behavior, attach Cindy to a flagpole and drops her from a high height, killing her. After killing Cindy, grabbing the trash bag Lily wants her to take out, she has a flashback to the cafeteria, which is from basically from the second movie. After luring her outside of the kitchen, Angela buries Lily in a trash hole and runs her over with a lawnmower. Oh my god, that is the coolest killing scene ever. Freeze frame that. Bum, bum. Yeah, I lost my place. Damn it. Yeah, with a lawnmower. Wants to take out the trash. Well, okay, yeah. Bears her, then runs her over with a lawnmower. Angela then rips Bobby's arms off before stabbing Riff with a tent spike. Ouch. The following morning, Angela travels to the remaining camp where Barney, Tony, or Monica, oh, I'm sorry, Marcy, that's not doesn't say Monica, Antia and Greg camp, uh, camping. Angela tells Barney she is supposed to switch with Marcy. Barney accompanies them and then Angela fakes a leg injury as Barney tends to Angela's. Uh, Marcy discovers Lily's body at, after Angela tells her that Lily's just doing nothing outside and for Monica to see, Barney yells for Monica to run. After a tense standoff, Angela shoots Barney dead. Angela catches up with Mar uh, Marcy and uh, captures her. That night, Angela ties the remaining campers together. She shows the, them the body of Barney and forces them to find Marcy in one of the cabins. Upon finding Marcy, Greg and Anita are killed by a booby trap. Angela decides to let Marcy and Tony live, but as she tries to leave, Angela stabs numerous times by Marcy. Marcy and Tony summon the police to the camp. Angela is taken to the hospital in an ambulance. And then she stabs the paramedic and the policeman with a syringe. When the ambulance driver asks what's going on, Angela probably is just taking care of business. And that was Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland. Is it a good movie? No, not really. It's not. Is it worth a good laugh and a few ch ch chuckles here and there for a, a cheesy slasher movie? Yeah, it's worth a watch. Would I recommend this to people? No. No, I wouldn't. But if you love horror movies and slasher movies, 
give this a watch maybe, but I can't recommend the movie. But uh, I did go back watching this and drift it off a bit. But uh, I do love the killing scenes like, like with the lawnmower and, you know, the spike through the hand, which was pretty cool. I mean, getting run over by a garbage truck was a bit tense. I even had to watch the behind the scenes uh, on how they actually chore uh, choreographed all that with the stunts. But uh, that was Sleepaway Camp 3, guys, Teenage Wastelands. What do you think? We got one more Sleepaway Camp movie to watch, and that's so we can't return to Sleepaway Camp, a years later movie. Guys, I'm Carl Clover. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. You know, if you appreciate my videos, subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell to let me know when you are getting to my videos when I upload them. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Blue Sky. When, again, like I said, when Twitter's still standing. And uh, go make sure you check out Rockhead and uh, show him some love and support. He's also a streamer and he's helped me so hard with uh, the videos. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.